The best support settings are when they're off. Hear me out, you should optimize overhangs with these 7 settings first, maybe you won't even need to use the supports. Make sure you use inner outer order of walls, this ensures that the outer layer adheres to an adjacent wall. Enable ensure vertical shell thickness, it helps overhang performance further by filling gaps and preventing areas with insufficient material. Lower the layer height and temperature. The thinner layers support overhangs better and are lighter which helps with sagging. They also have a better chance to cool down before the next layer. Slower speeds allow more time for cooling. Enable the slowdown for overhang setting. If you are slicing in Orca or Prusa slicer, you can enable extra perimeters on overhangs which provide additional structural support for better overhangs and the reverse on odd setting which can sometimes drag drastically improve overhang performance, so make sure you try these out. With these settings in place, you can identify the angle at which the material begins to sag by printing a simple overhang test. Always judge the test by the worst part of the print, since some printers don't cool the filament down as effectively from every direction. Adjust the threshold angle accordingly. Happy testing and see you next time!